Hi, I'm Bill Cannon, Head of Portfolio Management at Valkyrie, and here is this week's macro summary. After a sleepy summer week of trading, the unemployment rate was released Friday, improving to 3.5% from 3.6%, coupled with a surprising non-farm payrolls rise to 528,000. The unemployment rate is at its lowest level since 1969, supporting claims by recession deniers that the robust labor market is at a good place despite the current challenges in the economy. Conversely, the two-year, 10-year Treasury yield spread continued to trend lower as it moved from about negative 25 basis points last week to below negative 40 40 basis points entering the weekend. Traditionally a forward-looking recessionary indicator, current trend lines point lower in the near term with the spread tightening almost 200 basis points since March 2021. The yield curve has moved dramatically quarter to date as well, with the front end of the curve now over 100 basis points higher, while the back end of the curve down about 25. Traders have priced in almost 70% probability of another 75 basis point hike at the next FOMC meeting in September. The U.S. Senate passed the $430 billion Inflation Reduction Act Sunday, which focuses on health care policies, tax legislation, and climate investment. Most notable provision was a 15% minimum tax on corporations that earn over $1 billion a year. This could hurt company projections that benefited from a lower tax environment over the next decade, not to mention pivot midterm election outcomes. Escalating tensions between China and Taiwan have some concern on the spillover effect in the economy, with possible supply chain, as well as diplomatic issues similar to the ongoing Ukrainian-Russian situation. Summer sizzle will continue with more economic releases this week. The consumer price index is expected to decrease 8.7% from 9.1% last month, with the core CPI, which excludes food and energy, to rise to 6.1% from 5.9%. An interesting note concerning the only expected rise of the month. -month Month-over-month CPI projected to decrease 0.2% from 1.3% last month, with the core declining as well. Thursday has the producer price index expected to decline to 10.4% from 11.3%, closing the week with Friday's University of Michigan consumer sentiment continuing to come off historical lows at 52.5 from 51.5. Rent oil futures are approaching pre-war levels near $90 per barrel, easing some pain from consumers currently on summer vacation. Wheat shipments presumed from Ukraine after a near six-month halt providing relief to many countries dependent on the major food stable. While recession and inflation in cages are on a better trajectory, Markets are still cautious, with the fall season anticipated to bring more volatility. Join me next week as we dive deeper with the data released this week, still searching for better clarity. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments section. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Bye.